I'm Eli Savian, and we're here on Beverly's Best with Benji Soleimani. Benji, will you care to introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, my name is Benjamin H.B. Soleimani, and I'm a young 16-year-old hip-hop artist at uh, Beverly Hills High School, and it's a pleasure being on here. Thank you very much no for bringing me. No problem. So. so, Benji, so you're a rapper. How did you get started rapping? Well, it was about six or seven years ago, back when I was in fifth grade. Uh, I was uh, watching the movie Eight Mile, and uh, at the la very last battle, the very last battle against B. Rabbit and Papa Doc, I was just like amazed. Like I was like, wow, this guy could actually rap, and I, and I was like, if he could rap, I could do, I can too. And then over the years, I perfected my flow, my lyrics, my skills, everything. And, um, see, I'm very right. proud of doing that. Yeah. Is there anything specific you write about, like any like problems that you have or anything specific? Well, well, well yeah, like the song uh, that, I'm, that I'm gonna do, Rhymes of Rage, uh, it, it, it was all about the problems that I had my freshman year. Like I was going through many tough times, like just depression, stuff like that, and I was just getting my feelings out like for all at once. And, um, so, yeah. so you write your rap based on what you what you feel and like what exactly kind of whatever I feel I just write it down into poetry right and then so what was happening to you freshman year that you had to get out uh, you had to let out your aggression well, well, well there's something that I cannot say on a uh, television but I, I was just going through a depression and like like I was just very like paranoid doubtful about my friends my family Stuff like that. So like, I just got everything out, and like, I just, just like, uh, just wanted it's your, to. Get it's your escape plan. Yeah, it's my escape plan. When you're plan. going through tough times, you yeah. you write it down and like. Exactly. You get it all out. That's really good. Some people don't have that, have that way of yeah. letting their feelings out. That's awesome. Uh, so, uh, so rap has a bad. Uh, people think it's bad, you know, for kids. It influences them in bad ways. What do you think? What do you think about that? Well, well, maybe back in the day, like during the, during the nineties, when like there was Tupac, Biggie, Eazy E, like the, like everyone's parents when like whenever a kid listens to yeah. hip hop or rap, their parents are like, oh no, I don't want you listening to this. It's like bad for you. And yeah. like like really, if you listen to a good artist, like there's Tupac, and if it's censored, then yeah, that's good because like Tupac actually speaks the truth. Yeah. Or like it, or like not. Nah, it's like lyrics. yeah, the, the the lyrics make sense. Do you like understand what they're going through? And like, so like some people are just ignorant. Like they they don't really understand the meaning of like hip hop. Like 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 what kind of art it brings to the world. Yeah. So what kind of rapper do you think you are? You think you have like meaningful lyrics and? Yeah, I have I have pretty mean, meaningful lyrics. But lately, I've been working on some projects on like 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 very chill, calming, relaxing music cool. that like. The IPO could just like chill too. Right, that's always an awesome genre. I like that. Yeah, I'm still doing like uh, like very uh, meaningful or like love songs or like anger songs. Like I'm still doing my own genre or like different kinds of yeah. genres of, of hip hop. Yeah. So I know you have Tourette's. Um, can you explain what that is and how how it affects your rap and your writing? Well, Tourette's is a neurological disorder, and I've I've got it when I was back in fifth third grade, like about nine years ago. Okay. So um, like I've overcame it with my music, cause like whenever I whenever I rap or I'm on stage or I'm in the studio, I I don't do it as much, like yeah. because because like I'm concentrating, yeah, I'm concentrating. I know I'm gonna do good. Like, like, but like, when, whenever you see me walking in the halls of like Beverly High, like you see me like twitching my leg or twitching my arm, and like sometimes, I, sometimes I have vocal like uh, ticks where like I just like like uh, have like a lips or something. Yeah. So, so when you walk in Beverly High, is it like nerve wracking? Because I know there's like a lot of people and everybody's looking at you, you know. Like, well, the, well people, like people really don't look at me because like many people know me in Beverly High and like. I right, Beverly High. They they know they they know I have Tourette's. They know like I can't help it. So, like they don't really look. They just like say hi, what's up? And yeah. I just leave. So everybody's nice. That's yeah, good. It's fine. Do you do you feel like you get respect from your friends that you're a rapper, or do they kind of look down on you and say like you're not gonna get anywhere in life? Well, well, well if if I meet someone new, then yeah, they they could be like, oh, you're just a white boy Persian, like right. you can't rap. But once they listen to my music, they're like they actually take that comment back. They're like. You can actually rap. You're actually very talented. 
So you have so yeah, you have, yeah, yeah. People, people, resp yeah, people respect respect me for many things. Right. I don't mean to brag or anything, but like people respect me. That's good. Yeah. So like if they if you just tell them that you're a rapper, they look at you and they they think you're a joke almost. Yeah, they, 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 hear, they think I'm a joke, but once they actually hear what's going on, yeah. they actually think I'm like the man. They know what's going on. Yeah. Okay, so um, how does your fa does your family support you uh, in being a rapper? Do they kind of want you to focus on school? Well, they didn't support me at first. They thought like he, they they thought like it was just a phase, and like they thought I was it was gonna go away. But then it was like it was only after like really many amazing. many years of practice that my family actually thinks that I could be successful in life with my music. And like if the music doesn't work out, I I have many other ideas like such as like like clothing designing and like and, like um. And like uh, making beats for studios, because like if I make beats for studios, I can make many m much money from that. Right, and that's still what you love. Yeah, it's pretty close to what you. Yeah, love. I just want to do anything creative, like yeah. anything with art. Like you're, you want to make your own, uh, something that's your own instead exactly. of being what what people usually do. That's yep. That's cool. So, uh, uh, does rapping affect like your school like studies? Do, does it take up a lot of time? Well, not really, because like, I, I, I do my homework in my study schools class most of the time. And like, I finish it, I go, and then like, after resting practice, I go home, I chill, eat, eat a little, and I just go on the computer, go, like, go on my beats, go on YouTube, look for like, different kind of, kinds of instrumentals, and I just write to them. Yeah. Yeah. So, if, yeah, if, like, you could say I have a lot of spare time. So. That's good. Yeah. So you, you use your time to, yeah. to rap and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so as we promised, Benji's gonna rap his Rhymes of Rage, uh, and we'll be right back with his rap. Peace out. ASP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody knows me, no one's a homie I feel so lonely, no one thinks I'm unique People say my stuff is too deep Thinking of my past so I can never go to sleep I don't wanna speak People say unless I got a great mystique Sticking out like a vulture's beak Everything's so bleak I feel like I have amnesia Trying to get attention when I have a fake seizure I can't take the pressure My life's just too hard to measure I don't get nothing but my lyrical treasure It's also a pleasure People say I'm not worth their technicality They say I can't be in the gang cause of my nationality I'm blessed, I'm above everyone's originality I let my nightmares go and bring in reality I've been in the hospital twice cause of my mentality I'm an artist you can see my stuff on the gallery I can't take the anxiety While people keep trying me I'm rolling like a desperado My life size cold Like one day in Chicago Sway into I blow You people see where I go I get my connections I go where you can't go You can't get no directions People say I'm ugly It's really starting to bug me People just don't love me I'm in it to win it I used to be a soldier But now I'm a lieutenant Something is still missing If you wanna know Just pay attention and listen I got an empty void I had the stuff since I was a little boy I was little destroyed I can't take a joke no one can stop the lyrical genius coming from my throat I don't want to follow the rules so I'll never take an oath I'm president of the game you don't never got to vote I'm not gonna choke I'm not gonna quit even though I feel like the biggest piece of spit I gotta admit I can't stop my depression lyrics all the way is how I get out my aggression people say what's wrong it's always the same question shout out to Josh Cardielli Timon, Matt, Matt Ryan, Michael Silver, thank you.